Hello friends, in this video we will discuss about incubator. So an incubator is a device which is insulated as well as enclosed. So incubator is an insulated as well as enclosed device and this device provides the optimal condition of temperature, humidity and other environmental conditions that is required for the growth of organisms. So, incubator is a device that provides the optimal conditions that is required for the growth of an organism. So, the optimal conditions in include temperature, humidity and other environmental conditions. So, an incubator is a very necessary requirement that is needed for the cultivation of microorganisms under artificial conditions. So, incubator is a device that provides artificial conditions for the growth of the microorganisms. So, incubator is used for the cultivation of both unicellular as well as multicellular organisms. So, this is how an incubator looks like. So, an incubator is used to provide the artificial conditions that is required for the growth of a microorganism. So, now let us discuss the parts of an incubator. So, let us discuss the first part which is cabinet. So, the cabinet consists of a double wall that is the outer wall is made up of stainless steel whereas the inner wall is made up of aluminum. So the space between the outer and the inner wall is filled with a glass wall. So this glass wall would provide a insulation so that the incubator does not lose a lot of heat and also it can reduce the electrical consumption. So the glass wall helps the incubator in insulation. So now let us discuss the next part which is dough. So dough is present in all incubators. So the dough is generally made of glass. Why it is made of glass is that it helps us to visualize the interior environment without disturbing the incubation. So the dough is usually made up of a glass. So now let us discuss the next part which is the control panel. So in all outer walls of the incubator, a control panel is present. So this control panel consists of uh, all the switches as well as the indicators that allow the parameters of incubator to be controlled. So in the control panel, even the switch for the control thermostat of the device is present. So the control panel is present in the outer wall of the incubator. So the next is thermostat. So thermostat is a device which can maintain a temperature. So thermostat is used in incubator so that the temperature is being maintained. That is once the desired temperature is reached, this temperature is maintained in the incubator. So for that, a thermostat is being used. Next is the perforated shells. So bone to the inner walls, they are perforated shells. So it is on these perforated shells, the plates with the culture media are placed. So the perforated shells allow the movement of hot air throughout the inside of incubator. In some incubators, these perforated shells can be removed so that cleaning is very easy. The next part is an asbestos door gasket. So this provides an airtight seal between the door and the cabinet. So this seal prevents the outside air from entering inside the cabinet so that it creates an isolated hot environment inside the cabinet. 
so the aspetos door casket helps in providing a airtight seal so the next component is an l shaped thermometer so this thermometer is placed on the top of the outer wall so one end of the thermometer is provided with gradations so this is placed on the outside so that we can read the temperature easily whereas the other end of the thermometer with the mercury bulb is protruded slightly into the chamber so the l shaped thermometer is placed on the top of outer wall and one end of the thermometer is provided with gradations whereas the other end with the mercury bulb is inside the chamber next is hepa filters that is high efficiency particulate air filters so these filters are present only in some advanced incubators so with the help of hepa filters we can decrease the level of contamination that is the contaminations that are created due to the air flow next is the humidity and gas control so in some incubators that is in co2 incubator there is a reservoir which is present beneath the chamber so this reservoir consists of water so the water is been vaporized and the humidity inside is been maintained so the co2 incubators also have an additional part which is the gas chambers so gas chambers are present in co2 incubators so that the concentration of the gas that is the concentration of the co2 can be maintained so these are the parts of incubator hope the parts of incubator is clear for more such videos do subscribe to our channel biotech simplified if you like the channel please like and share with your friends